Coca-Cola, the world's most iconic soft drink, has a rich history of over 135 years. We do bring you details, this story on SE, business news and more other stories that are making headlines. In our top stories tonight. Heroes Day actually is a very big day to the nation and to the business fraternity. Ugandans celebrate Heroes Day. Global Youth Climate Fund Micro Grant 2023 applications now open. We take a look at the fascinating and flavorful history of Coca Cola. Once again, welcome to SETV Africa. This is SE Business News with me, Doth Akampura, and we will now go into the stories. The Global Youth Climate Fund is now accepting applications for its 2023 micro grant. The fund aims to empower young people to pursue green entrepreneurship and build a green economy, ultimately reducing carbon emissions and preserving the environment. The fund is dedicated to financing youth-led climate actions in communities affected by climate change. Our reporter Felisa K has details of the story. Take a look. The Global Youth Climate Fund is seeking proposals for smart agriculture, clean energy, marine life protection, climate catastrophe mitigation, youth entrepreneurship, biodiversity protection, and behavior change through technology and innovation. The microgrant is available to the youth-led organizations that are motivated to create positive change in their communities. The grant is open to both new and existing initiatives that have a clear plan for using the funds and creating value and impact for the project. Applicants must demonstrate a well-planned project with a developed strategy, timeline and team management. Applications will be assessed based on the organization's functional relevance to climate impact, financial awareness, team motivation and commitment, and community-focused impact. The application deadline is June 16, 2023, and interested parties can submit their applications at www.globalyouthclimatefund.com. Felizake reporting for SE Business News. Thank you so much, Felizake, for bringing us details of that story. In other stories, this week, Uganda celebrated the National Heroes Day. This public holiday is observed every year on 9th June to honor lives laid down during the Ugandan Bush War between 1981 to 1986. Today, we would like to use this opportunity to also celebrate the heroes shaping the business fraternity and contributing positively to the nation's development. Our reporter, Brenda Owl, has details to this story. I'm Penelope Tusime. I'm a baker and I'm an entrepreneur. My mother inspired me to start my businesses. First of all, I grew up seeing my mother work as a teacher and at the same time bake cakes. She would bake cakes and uh, teach at the same time to raise our school fees. I was inspired by my former boss because I've been working in places that are in line with uh, for example, I've worked in a forex bureau of my former boss uh, who had a farm, as also managing agency banking. So that inspired me to go and start up my own business. Heroes Day actually is a very big day to the nation and to the business fraternity. Because I think it's that day that those people that fought in the bush gave us freedom to trade freely, to do our business in peace. As a business person, Heroes Day is uh, 
a day where we celebrate people that have done think good things to us. Hero's Day, to me, is a day for everyone because everyone is working hard to, you know, earn a living, to take kids to school. So everyone is a hero in his or her own way. A successful business person to be called a hero, he or she should be able to fight for the right of other people in line with the business. Then he should be able to encourage the generation, the coming generation, to engage in businesses. For a business person to be called a hero, first of all, if you're in business, you have to help other people also come in business. So you must be uh, hardworking must be a good time manager you must be honest when people give you money you should be able to do exactly what people tell you to do you should be honest with your clients you always have to be honest with them tell them the truth if something is not like as good as your client wants it you have to tell them this is not good but we have this as an option yes and you have to be um, respectful my last remark, uh, I celebrate my heroes. I have so many heroes. Everyone who has done anything good for me is my hero because you did it when I was not able to do it for myself. So you're a hero in a way. But in a special note, I want to thank my mother. She's indeed my biggest hero. I want to wish my mother a happy hero's day because she has inspired me to be what I am today. She has inspired me to work hard and be the woman that I am today. So I wanna wish everyone a happy Heroes Day. I want to thank all heroes outside the world, over in the country, I want to thank, to thank all of you for motivating us, most especially my hero, my former boss. I want to thank you so much for everything that you have done. May God bless you. Thank you so much Brenda Owl for bringing us that story that takes us to the business tip moment we have for you in this edition and we'll be back shortly. be back from that business tip moment and we do appreciate you for sticking to se tv africa you are still watching se business news and we will move on with our stories the united nations world food forum startup innovation awards 2023 are now accepting applications this global startup innovation competition aims to showcase and support entrepreneurs who are leveraging technology to drive sustainable transformation within the agro-food system. A reporter, Masi Achom, has more details to the story. The World Food Forum is seeking startup innovations that promote sustainable consumption and patterns through efficient and inclusive food and agricultural supply chains at local, regional and global levels. Ideal startups will end hunger achieve food security and improve nutrition, protect and restore terrestrial and marine ecosystems, combat climate change, and promote inclusive economic growth by reducing inequalities. Finalists and award winners of the Startup Innovation Awards can gain global visibility, capture raising opportunities, and valuable networking possibilities with global entities such as United Nations agencies, partners, and corporations. They will also receive mentorship opportunities to pioneer technological breakthrough and help power a sustainable future for our food. Applications are now open and interested startups can submit their entries at apply to 2023 UN World Food Forum Startup Innovation Awards by the 15th of June, 2023. Marcy Achum, Reporting for SE Business News. Thank you so much, Marcy Atom, for bringing us that story. And moving on, 
Coca-Cola, the world's most iconic soft drink, has a rich history that spans over 135 years. From its humble beginnings as a medicinal tonic to its current status as a global brand, Coca-Cola has undergone numerous changes and innovations. Despite facing challenges related to health concerns and sustainability, Coca-Cola remains one of the most recognized and beloved brands in the world with a presence in over 200 countries. Join Christopher Sematimba as we embark on a journey to explore the captivating history of Coca-Cola and its evolution over time. Coca-Cola is a carbonated soft drink that was first created in 1886 by a pharmacist named John Pemberton in Atlanta, Georgia. Pemberton developed the drink as a patented medicine claiming that it could cure a range of ailments including headaches, fatigue, and even impotence. Initially, Coca-Cola was sold as a tonic at soda fountains, but it quickly became popular as a refreshing beverage. In 1892, Asa Candler purchased the formula for Coca-Cola and began aggressively marketing the drink, helping to spread its popularity across the United States. Over the years, Coca-Cola has undergone a number of changes and innovations. In the early 1900s, the company began bottling the drink allowing it to be sold more widely across the country. In the 1920s and 1930s, Coca-Cola became an icon of American culture with its distinctive logo and advertising campaigns. During the Second World War, Coca-Cola was distributed to soldiers fighting overseas, helping to cement its place as a global brand. In the years that followed, the company continued to expand, introducing new products like Dad Coke and Cherry Coke, as well as expanding into other markets like sports drinks and bottled water. Today, Coca-Cola is one of the world's most recognizable brands with a presence in over 200 countries worldwide. The company continues to innovate and adapt to changing consumer preferences, developing other branded drinks such as Dad Coke, Sprite, Fanta, and Minute Maid Juice. Apparently, Coca-Cola is worth $260 billion in market capitalization. Coca-Cola has been able to build a powerful brand identity through its distinctive logo, iconic advertising campaigns, and consistent product offering. Entrepreneurs can learn from these factors to help their businesses succeed in a competitive marketplace. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the history of Coca-Cola. This is Reveal to Inspire, and my name is Christopher Samatimba. Christopher Sema Timba for bring us that history of Coca-Cola and would like to appreciate you for sticking with us from the start to the end. This is all we've been having for you on today's SE Business News. My name is Dot Akampura and until next time, bye-bye.